Uh, Mr. Christopher D'Souza, you can do both your cuts. Thank you. How we put in place steps to deter terror threats. We must equally be prepared in the event a threat vests on our shores. It is not just the prevention of terror attacks that counts, but the cure after it happens. Even as we currently enjoy racial and religious harmony, we cannot take it for granted. A concrete sense of resilience must prevail in the minds of all Singaporeans, regardless of race or religion, to remain united, steadfastly protecting the racial and religious harmony while rejecting the threat of terror and its perpetrators. What steps has MHA taken to detect and deter self-radicalization and what community-based exercises will be carried out to imbue a sense of post-attack resilience in fellow Singaporeans. Deterring cyber crimes. In 2018, the overall crime rate increased, mostly due to a 20.6% increase in scams conducted online or on the phone. Of the online crimes, a significant proportion were committed by foreign syndicates. Cyber crimes may have a transnational element to them, but their ill consequences can be felt harshly at home. This is especially when syndicates target the elderly in cheating cases or when love scams are deployed to take advantage of Singaporeans. To stem the harm felt in Singapore, my question is, how will MHA build on its capabilities to tackle local and cross-border cyber crimes and enhance public awareness to help prevent their reoccurrence?